Hey everyone, Karin here, and I want to give you a video that's going to help a lot of you out with something that's really, really frustrating with Facebook and domains and subdomains. <laughs> this only seems to happen on Facebook, and it just makes me a little bit cranky. But I remember like a couple years ago, um, and Neil was trying to help me out with this. It was crazy. I had created um, a brand new web page uh, that was leading to a different business uh, that I was doing. And once I created that page and I was posting the subdomain on Facebook, it was pulling a free lead system image and putting it with that subdomain. And this drove me nuts. So I contacted Neil and Neil's like, you know what? I have no idea why it does this. I've been trying to figure it out, blah, blah, blah. So I did a lot of homework and pounding the pavement to try and figure out how to fix this issue. And I actually found it. And there's a little there's a little bit of stuff that you need to do, but I like to make everything as simple as possible. So if any of you out there want the fix to this, you can always just kind of pause this video whenever you go to do it and do it with me uh, step by step. But um, again, you know, this is something that's that's just related to Facebook. Whenever you post the first time you post a subdomain or your domain on um, Facebook, there's usually an image that would be related to that. And Facebook will remember this image. So let's say you posted just your main domain, okay, like yourname.com. From whatever page you created, it pulls an image and it shows that image along with your domain name. And then you decided to create a subdomain for, you know, um, I'm awesome dot your domain name dot com. And you take that subdomain, you post it on Facebook, then it posts the same image because it's actually relating the image from the main domain name, okay? So it doesn't matter what subdomain you come up with or not. Facebook would get glitchy with this. I'm going to show you right now, step by step, how to take any image, all right, and associate it with any copy of a web page inside a PLS and have Facebook recognize it. OK, and this is going to come in like really handy for those of you who are using, you know, the capture pages for other businesses to send traffic to and stuff like that. You don't want it, you know, associated with like the free lead system. Right. So let's go by this step by step. Hopefully you don't confu get confused because honestly, after you do this a couple of times, you'll remember it easy as pie. All right. So first thing we're going to need to do for this example is I'm going to need to copy a web page. I'm just going to copy one of the ones that I already did. Um, let me just go to my web pages. Uh, I'm just going to copy, I don't know, let me copy this one. Let me test and see which one this is first. Um, give it a second because every time I record it's a little slow. Hang tight. Okay, perfect. So this is actually, I'm working on a new funnel, so ignore the insert here. It's just for coding. But um, this is the page I'm going to copy. Um, and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So let me go here. Let's go to copy. And I'm just going to do um, image image test I'm reaching all image there we go hang on I'm gonna bring my keyboard in closer <laughs> oh my god the screw ups I love them image test for the peeps all right good um, and I'm gonna create a subdomain specifically just for this so you can see what happens okay image test uh, two all right that'll be good now I'm going to come down here and I'm going to save all my changes until I can get to the domain itself, blah, blah, blah. Okay, good. So now let me go here and view it. And this is probably, yo, no, there we go. We got it. All right. So now we can see that this is the page that we're going to work with. All right. Now I'm going to take that. Oh, hang on a second. I forgot to grab the URL. Okay. I grabbed the URL. <laughs> I forgot about that. Sorry about that. So what I'm going to do right now is that subdomain I just created, I'm going to make an example and I'm going to paste it here. I'm going to show you what, now you see that this image right here, this image is actually not associated at all with that web page that I had or um, this subdomain that I just created, okay? Neither is all of this. So I want to change all of that, right? Um, so this is what you do. I'm going to post that just for right now. Not now. This is a private, just my private testing FB thing. Just to show you, okay? So this is what it looks like now. But I do not want this image whatsoever. So this is what I do. 
what I do is I use the Power Lead system. I have a separate blog um, where I host all the images, okay? But you can pick an image that you want to associate with that subdomain and host it somewhere. So if you don't have your Power Blog set up, you can do it on Photo Bucket or something like that. Anywhere that you can get a URL to it, all right? So let's say, okay, I actually want this image to be, we'll pick this one. I want this image to be associated with that. As you can see here, I have a URL. That's what you're going to need for this, okay? So let's go back here, and I'm going to go into Edit. Next, I'm going to go straight into Edit Text. And right now, I'm going to click on Source. Now, inside Source, in this area, you see where it says Title, and then it says Meta Content, Meta Content, Meta Content. Let me stretch this out. This is what um, Facebook is pulling. This is the information that Facebook is pulling from your website, which is why certain things get associated with your web page, okay? So, for instance, let's go back over here again. Where is, uh, no, that's not it. Let's go back here. You see where it says, watch this video to learn how to grow a steady stream of income online? I don't want it to say that, okay? So I can go into this part here where it says, you see the same wording, okay? And I can highlight this in between the quotations and say whatever, whoops, whatever I want to hear. And then next, this would be like the subtitle. All right, so as you can see, again, in between the quotations, again, saying what I want. All right, now the image, you see right here, you'll see a code where it says OG image. Then you see a URL. This is what Facebook is pulling and then remembering, all right, for your domain. So if you want to change that and associate it with a different image, go ahead and highlight all of this, let go, and go grab the image that you want associated with that subdomain. So I'm just going to grab this. Whoops. Select copy. And I'm going to come back into here, and I am going to hit Control V, and I'm going to paste that new one, okay? So there's the new one. Now, I'm going to uncheck Source, and I'm going to scroll down and save changes. Now, once you do this, if you go and test it and post it on Facebook, and it's still pulling the old information, I'm going to show you exactly where to go. Let me grab my URL here. I'm going to show you where to go so that Facebook will recognize that. So let's go back to the tutorial page first before we do that. Now I'm going to paste this subdomain. And let's see, you see how the old image is still coming up? And you just saw me change all of this, right? So let's exit out. Exit. And now what I'm going to do, and I'll include a link down in the, uh, I'll include a link in this post, actually. So if you were to type, like if you lose the link to this, if you were to type into the Facebook search bar, Facebook debugger, okay, or sharing debugger, you should find a link for this page. What you would do then is you're going to take the subdomain and you're going to paste it in here and click on debug. So what's going to happen is it's going to go ahead and pull the information again. Now you can see that it's still associating the exact same image. If you see this, then go to where it says scrape again and click it again. Okay? But we're going to wait it out because sometimes it'll still show here and it will end up taking a few minutes for it to actually take effect. You don't want to keep clicking scrape again, scrape again, scrape again. All right, because sometimes they'll lock you out of it. I'll do it one more time. And now, boom, you see the new image and what I placed here. So now Facebook, we've told Facebook, hey, whenever I post this subdomain here, I want you to associate that subdomain with this image and whatever I'm saying down here. So now let's go back to the Facebook page and now let's post the exact same link and see what Facebook does and bingo there you go and then you publish and that issue is fixed
Okay? So that way, when you go post that subdomain, then people can see your pretty little picture. They can see whatever you wrote here, and you're all set and ready. So again, all you need to do is just go into the edit text of the page that you want to change around, click on source, look in the meta tag section, change the wording to what you want, do your subwording here, and always look for OG image, grab the URL of the image that you want, enter it into this line between the quotation marks. Once you're done, click save changes, then go to sharing debugger, which is it used to just be called Facebook debugger. So let's go to sharing debugger. I'll leave the link for you. Enter in your URL, click debug, and if you do not see the change happen right away, scrape it, then wait a couple moments if it's still the same. I would wait, like, honestly, I would probably wait before you do it a second time. I would wait probably about two minutes, two or three minutes, scrape it again, okay, and until you see your image. And sometimes in rare cases, because it gets glitchy, it may not, you may do it two or three times and still see the same, same thing here. Ignore it, go to a page and post your URL and most of the time it does come up with the new image. So I really hope this tutorial helps some of you guys out there and if you got any questions, drop them in the comments. Be more than happy to help you. Ciao.